I'm Jennifer O'Connell, and I'm an author and illustrator living in Bethesda, Maryland. And today I'd like to read you my picture book, The Eye of the Whale, A Rescue Story, published by Tilbury House Publishers. And this is a story about a humpback whale that was swimming about 18 miles off the coast of San Francisco one morning, and all of a sudden it encountered these crap, a whole field of crab traps. And that's where you've got a buoy and then hundreds of yards of nylon rope attached to very heavy crab traps on the ocean floor. And they think the whale probably started getting tangled in one and then another, then another, and she struggled. She was so tangled up in so many of them that she was anchored to the ocean floor, particularly in the tail area, but there were lines in her mouth and just all over, and she was struggling to stay at the surface to breathe. And so this is a story about what happened. Through the morning fog, a fisherman sees trouble. It's a whale, tangled in the lines from crab traps. Whale in distress, he calls into his radio. Back on shore, a captain answers the call. We are on it, he says. The captain assembles his rescue team. James, a dive master, has never been close to a whale. He doesn't know what to expect. They might not reach the whale in time. Sharks could find it first. When they reached the reported location, there was only a sea lion bobbing in the waves. Then, a puff of mist shoots up. The captain speeds over. The whale is floating, not moving. It is huge, most likely a female. Can't see much below the surface, says the captain. James puts on his flippers. We're going in, James says. Be careful of the tail, warns the captain. The divers rise and fall with the dark swells. Water churns as the whale rolls to her side. An eye slowly surfaces and looks at James. Then a giant flipper appears, and James knows to stay back. The whale rolls down again, and James swims to her side. He sees lines cutting into her skin. He takes a deep breath and dives. There are scores of ropes trapping the whale. She is barely able to breathe. The divers race back to the boat. We have to cut the lines or she'll die, James shouts. She swims with her tail, so we'll cut those lines last. If the whale starts moving, get out of the way. The divers work to save her, cutting one line after another. The whale watches everything James does. Finally, the last line is cut and the whale drifts down into the deep water. We did it! The divers scan the ocean for movement. They know the whale must come up to breathe. James wonders where she is gone. Then, a loud humming sound vibrates th through the water. And they see her. The whale whirls around the divers in a fast wild dance. Then she disappears. James is puzzled. With a jolt, James sees her heading straight for him. The whale pushes him ever so gently, a little nudge. Then one by one, she nudges the other divers too. She looks at James with her beautiful eye and plunges back into the dark sea.
So in the afterword section, uh, I asked the reader, what do you think that whale meant when she nudged those divers? They all, they all believe that she was thanking them. And thanks so much for hearing the story. <laughs>